so here is our next problem and it is to take an integer from the user and to check whether the number is bus number or not a bus number is a number which ends with 7 or is divisible by 7 so we need to take an input from the user and see whether it's it is a bus number or not um, so this is uh, um, a number is said to be bus number if it ends with 7 or is divisible by 7 this we can accomplish by using mod operator um, to get uh, the least significant digit of uh, a number uh, we can use mod operator as you know the mod operator returns us uh, the remainder of a division and if we divide any number by 10 then the remainder uh, is always the least significant digit let us take some example let's say if we divide 359 by 10 so 359 divided by 10 as 350 is multiple of 10 would give us a remainder 9 which is least significant digit of 359 now let us take 473 473 divided by 10 uh, as 470 is multiple of 10 uh, if you divide 473 by 10 the remainder would be 3 and 3 is least significant digit of 473 that means any number if divided by 10 uh, returns us the remainder um, as the least significant digit of the number so next thing is to check whether a number is divisible by 7 or not that also can be accomplished by using mod operator a number is said to be uh, divisible, by, divisible by another number if the remainder of the division is 0 right so as mod operator returns the remainder of this uh, of a division then we just need to check whether uh, whether a given number if uh, we divide it by 7 returns uh, as remainder 0 or not so for that also we can use mod operator now let us write the program first of all we would uh, get an input from the user for that I am uh, declaring a variable num and I would prompt the user enter a number and then we would use scanf function uh, to get the input from the user and store it in num variable the second parameter is address of num variable so this is address of operator now if either of these conditions that that is the number that is entered by the user ends with 7 or it is divisible by 7 then we would display on the console that it is a bus number otherwise if none of these conditions are satisfied then we would display it is not a bus number so for that we would be using conditional statement and we would use here if statement and we would specify the conditions so num variable now contains uh, the number uh, entered by the user now when we mod it by 10 as we said when we mod it by 10 as mod operation returns the uh, remainder of the division and dividing any number by 10 um, we get remainder as the last uh, the least significant digit of the number right like 359 mod 10 would return us 9 uh, 473 mod 10 would return us 3 so we just need to check whether it is 7 or not right so here we would use comparison operator that means this would return us the least significant digit and we need to check whether it is 7 or not and now the statement says that either of this if either of these two conditions are satisfied then this is a bus number so for that we would be using logical or operator so logical or operator is two parallel lines vertical lines 
and had it been given that if both the conditions would be satisfied then only it is a buzz number then we would have used ampersand ampersand that is logical and operation but here it is given as or that means any of these two conditions if satisfied then the or both the conditions are satisfied then the number is buzz number uh, so we would be using logical or over here now we'll have to check whether this number is divisible by 7 or not for that also we can use uh, mod operator so num mod 7 so if this number is divisible by 7 then this mod operation would return 0 so we need to check whether the return value is 0 or not if either of these two conditions are satisfied then this if block would be executed and here we can write that the number is buzz number the number is a buzz number and if none of these two conditions are satisfied then in the else part we can write the number is not a buzz number And at the end, as in every program, we would write get to let us uh, uh, view the uh, outputs console. Now, one more thing I want to add over here that if there there is only a single statement in else block or if block, then curly braces are not mandatory. If we are skipping the curly braces, if you are not providing the curly braces, that means any statement following the else uh, keyword or the if keyword only the single statement following it would be within the block right so this is same as uh, writing providing curly braces after else right so let me skip this curly braces and I'll show you that this also works so only single statement following else block would be considered if, if I miss uh, curly braces then uh, the single statement following else would be considered within the else block now let us compile it and run it so I'd build it first build is same as compilation So after compilation is done, so enter a number. So let us enter 49. 49 is divisible by 7, but it uh, does not end with a 7. So it is a bus number. The number is a bus number. Our program is working correct. Let us. Uh, let us run it one more time and now I would input 17 uh, which is not divisible by 7 but it it ends with 7 so it is also a bus number so the number is a bus number so here also our program work correctly now run it one more time and here I want to uh, I want to see the negative case that means a number which is not a bus number so 19 neither it ends with 7 nor it is divisible by 7 so it is not a bus number the number is not a bus number so our program has worked correctly that means we have accomplished the program in a correct fashion thank you we'll see more programs uh, in our next sessions thanks thank you